So here we have the Mercedes-Benz C180 automatic on a 10 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a four-door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off uh, by showing you inside the boot and then we can work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the boot you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well on top of that. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge and the coolant temperature gauge as well. In the middle, we have the speedometer and on the right hand side, the rev counter. Also in the middle there, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 82,022. It'll also show you what gear this car is currently in, so we're in park at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, we have buttons over here that will change the information in that central section. Uh, and on the right hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. We have a plus and minus there. They are paddles so that you can change up and down a gear manually should you wish to with this automatic gearbox. And then over in the center, we have the main screen for the car. So as you can see, we have satellite navigation. Uh, you can also access your audio, telephone up here as well. Uh, all of what I'm doing movement wise is all being done using this dial just here. You can do virtually everything that's on the screen using this. You can use this button to go back as well. So if you uh, wanna go back to a previous screen, you can do. You can see there that you can uh, store uh, your various different music selections. You've got presets down the bottom. You can change from FM to medium wave, short wave, long wave. Uh, whatever you want to on there, you can do. Plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. And as I say, everything I'm doing right now on the screen is all being done using that dial. So for example, pairing your phone, you can do that on the dial as well. Working our way down, if you wish to, you can use these buttons to do what I was just doing with the dial. We have a CD player just there, the main volume for the stereo as well. Uh, and then you can answer and end phone calls once you've paired up your phone, of course. Below that, if I move the gear lever out the way, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can uh, increase and decrease the fan speed. You can also determine where you'd like the air to be distributed within the car. The air conditioning is on at the minute, off, back on again. Or you can hit auto. The car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air. As you can see, that information is now missing from there. What it's doing is maintaining these temperatures for you. You can override that with any manual adjustment. You'll see auto has now gone off. We have a storage section here, which also includes a 12 volt charging socket, should you need to use that. We have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and the dial that I went through just a moment ago. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.